eye. Let's make the chart clearer by adding columns for this curve and a column of data for the line x equals y. The x-axis goes from 0 to 1, so we need to make sure that information is added to the bottom of this x-series. 0, I'll have 50 data points. Copy that down to 50 rows. Now we need to copy the Y formula and copy it for all these values of X. There we go. Now as they're in the same column as the rest of the information, it'll be in the same color on the chart. So I'm going to put it in its own column by referencing it. And copy copy that formula, control down, and right again, control V. That's done. Now we need to do the X and the Y, and it was the second row of each of these data points. So reference that, and copy that, control V, and now pick up that group of 10. Control C, Control V, now that group of 20. Control C, Control V, go down. Control V, and I think we just got one more. Done. So there is our X equals Y data points. Now I found that it's a lot easier to create a new chart, then edit an existing chart in OpenOffice. So I've got some new rows and columns to select. Select the whole area, insert chart. The type is an XY scatter. It's lines only. Next. Data in series, row as labels, correct. Next, data series is correct, but this data label is not a data series, so we remove it. Go back to the first data series and put the data labels in as data labels. Pick up that, control C, paste it, and edit it because I know it's in the next column, which is F. There are data labels. The curve is correct, it's in column G, and X equals Y is in column H. Next, let's put some titles in. Growth Model Cobweb Diagram. And we have Decay from 0 to 1. Growth from 1 to 2. Cyclic when k is from 2 to 3, and chaos when k is from 3 to 4. And that's it. Finish. Let's make that a bit bigger. There we go. Make those lines a bit thinner. Uh, format selection. Mm, there we go. The width, zero. Okay. And let's, I think we have to select each line individually. So let's try to select this green line, make it a bit thinner. Not that it matters too much. Format data series. Okay, super. So there we can see our chart with the curve, with line x equals y. What we can't see is the start or the stop point. So let's edit it again. Edit.
edit and insert data labels. And if I show it as a category, it should pick up that text data label. There it is, there's our start point. Now I'm going to select the whole of the chart and cut it, go up to the top and put it underneath our existing chart so we can compare them. They look very similar because they are full of data, but they look very different if we have less data. Let's go and put another value of k in, or a different value of k. 2.6. There we go. We just see it starting and cycling in. But with the extra information, the extra columns, we can see the start point. It goes to x to the y, goes back to the curve, and then cycles in. And that is a full cobweb diagram. Thank you for watching.